Everybody, we're back again. Today we're going to be looking at the Geek Vape 521 Master Kit. So let's go ahead and jump down and uh, take a look what's going on inside this little baby. Okay, here we are. This is your kit here. The case, I should say. Um, you know, it's a nice sturdy design. Not really a fan of the, like the, the camo, but whatever. Uh, I do like the, the orange and green color scheme. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here it is. It's all opened up for you. Now, you'll notice it's got two zippers. You can zip it up from either side or whatever. Um, now, this kit comes with the 521 tab ohm reader. It's okay. It's not, uh, it's not very precise. It doesn't know half the time. Uh, but, you know what, if I want to save battery in one of my devices, you know, I'll pop it on there and, you know, get my readings. Um, so you got this. And this takes one 18650 battery. The back panel here just pops right off. And the battery goes right in. Uh, it has, let's see if you can get it in here. Yeah, it's not going to focus. And it's got uh, low voltage protection, short, short circuit protection, breaker protection, and low resistance reading. Uh, so, works well enough if you needed to, you know, work. But I wanted the kit. I wanted the jigs and all the little stuff. I mean, I already have most of it, but, you know, I wanted a new jig set. And this, these are actually rather nice. I look down on top of them here, they're all, they all have their number. They even have screwdrivers there. And your um, this is uh, where your jig will slide into here. And you got a square side and then a uh, Hexagon? Pentagon? Hexagon. So you got your square, square side, that's for your jig itself. And on this side here, that takes your little screwdrivers. Now this one here is an Allen key or Torx wrench, however you want to put it. But uh, yeah, I, I really like that. I really like that. I have another kit and uh, it doesn't have that, so anyway, we'll put these off to the side here. So you got your jigs. They go from uh, one and a half all the way to four millimeter, uh, which is great. Uh, you know, I've I've tried all of them. <laughs> Don't really have to, but I wanted to. Um, anyway, here is top jig and obviously they go from 1.5 all the way up to 4 it's a uh, smooth sailing it really works well enjoy it um, one thing here you got your tweezers here ceramic and your bent you, I don't know if you can see it here but these things I think these started out at the factory like this <laughs> I'm not sure and then they were like filed down like buffed down I mean you know the buffing and the, the grinding it's kind of shoddy you know uh, kind of thought they could just make them like out of a mold like that or something instead of grinding down but whatever. So you got your, you know, your bent tweezers, your ceramic tweezers, as you can see, I've used them. I've been using this for about a month now, and uh, I enjoy it. I really do. I would have put the video out sooner as just a first look, but I really wanted to get, you know, uh, 
an idea for all these pieces, parts. Now you got your wire cutters here. Uh, you know, I have, I have a set of wire cutters that I got off of Amazon, but I like, I, I don't know why, but I, well, no, I do know why. I like these more. And let me tell you, they're like, they're magnetized. Okay, so when I cut the wire, it, it like sticks here. I'm gonna go flying somewhere where I gotta, you know, sweep with a magnet later. That is awesome. Awesome. Um, needle nose pliers. They're okay. They're all right. I don't like that spring. I don't like it. And frankly, you know, the pliers, they're really not worth anything to me. I barely use needle nose because I need a plier that just has that flat end there. Just flat, no ribs. That's, that's, that's what I need. But that, that could just be me. Um, because, you know, if I'm twisting wire or something, you know, I, it, it slips right out. No matter how I put it in there. But when I get it just right on that flat surface, it sends you down, it, it works great. Okay. And the last piece of this kit are the scissors. Look like a little pair of glasses. But they just slide out and then fold out the scissors and they're actually pretty good scissors I like that they fold down and if you know if I can't if I'm going somewhere that I really can't bring the kit you know I got some extra cotton and you know my scissors it's nice to be able to fold the scissors down and just throw them in my pocket I wouldn't suggest trying to take them on a plane <laughs> but uh, you know they're convenient and portable now Underneath this, it's like a Velcro, okay? So you can get right in here, and it's like a little storage area, which I thought was cool at first. And then I realized that, uh, I don't know if it was coming through customs or what, if they opened it up and then like tore it apart and just stuck it back together or what, I don't know, I don't know. But the adhesive they used to put this foam to the to the backing here, it it, it 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 shit, it sucks. I got I got duct tape rolled up for now, holding these things down. And this, there's like a flap right here, and if you don't tuck it down just right, you know with that adhesive being so shitty, it just slides right underneath there, and you try to get it out, it rips the whole fucking thing up again. So it's a bit of a complaint. I, I you know I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, yeah, it bothers, bothers me, you know, so that's really my only, my only con, aside from the bent tweezers, which, you know, look like I ground them down myself, which I don't know, uh, but it's a good kit, I thoroughly enjoy it, um, you know, it comes in handy if I'm going out, uh, you know, chill at a buddy's house, watch the game or something, you know, it, it is, it, works out very well and uh, like I said I really enjoy it and I <coughs> I love how these are magnetized I don't know if it's on purpose or accident or what or <laughs> but they're magnetized and you know, this also has a little pouch here you know I'm just you can just slide your, your wire in now this kit if you take the tab out <laughs> you could probably fit a device in either this area or over here how everything's spaced out you, you, you just can't fit any devices in here you could either put your uh, wire or XNA the wire and put some batteries but you can't carry all this stuff I wish they would have found a way you know, you got a lot of wasted space around. You know, I know the pliers and the the the, the snips there take up quite a bit of space just because of the way they're bent. I, I feel like there was a better way, and they didn't quite get to it. But uh, you know, I, 
I think I paid maybe 30 bucks for the thing. Should I have gone uh, for something a little higher end, maybe? But does it does it provide the tools I need in order to build? Yeah, sure, of course it does. You know, and while the the tab itself kind of sucks, you know, I mean, I I put a tank on here to uh, uh, I, I put an RTA on here just to check the reading when I first got it. And you see that like staining there on the chrome or whatever the hell it is? It shit won't fucking come off. I don't know. But this this tab, while it doesn't read great, I could find an average. You know, but it means I, I have to pop it from here to, you know, two other devices to get my average, you know, so I know I'm in the right range. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. It's nice. It's nice to be able to just pop, you know, an RDA or an RTA on here, put it on fire and get those coils warmed up and tightened up, you know. But that's about it. That's all it is. Just a fancy base with a battery. Uh, you know, you could probably get all this stuff for cheap, cheaper than, you know, uh, 30 bucks, but I think, I think this jig, jig set, you know, is awesome. I, I have another one I got off of, uh, the internet and it's just god awful. It's terrible. You know, I like, I like the size of the tops for the jig. I like, you know, it's 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 meaty, so you can really get on there and twist your wire. You know, working with the 20 gauge, you know, it's, it's pretty stiff. Now, this, let's compare it. That's the top for my other set. I couldn't get a grip on there. Heaven forbid I got a little bit of juice on my fingers or something. I'm not winding anything. So, much, much better. And... I, I like I like just overall the quality of it. It's, it's just so much better than the other kit I have. So, do, would I suggest this to people? Well, yeah, yes, I would. I would if they could fix, uh, you know, fix the quality when their tweezers there a little bit, and uh, maybe figure out what the hell's going on with their reader. You know, I would. I would buy these things as Christmas presents. But yes, if you need a if you need a jig kit and your basic tools, say you're first just starting out building, yeah, pick one of these up. You know, if you got money to spend, go get Coilmaster. But if you're on a budget like I am, you know, this is this is good enough. It's good enough for now. You know, um, so yeah, I would go out and uh, go online. Go online. Just search, uh, um, you know, 521 Master Kit Geek Vape. You know, they've been coming out with good things lately. You know, their Griffin tank, I've, I've, I have I've just absolutely love. Um, and they just got the uh, top airflow out for that, so I need to pick that up and uh, check that out. And they came out with a 25 mil, uh, millimeter version. I'd really like to see that. Um, anyhow, getting off topic here. If you're new to building, buy it. Just buy it. You'll you'll love it, you know, and you'll outgrow it, but you'll love it. Uh, and for the price, you know, it, it, you, you get a lot of stuff here. Um, if you've been in the game a while, don't 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 just go get like your coil master kits and all that. But anyway, I'm I'm rambling. I'm talking about nothing anymore. So please. If you enjoy building or you're getting into it, head online and search for the 521 Master Kit by Geek Vape. And, uh, you know, buy it. It doesn't come in any colors. This is it. This is what you get. I, 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 maybe I didn't look hard enough, but this is all you get. In fact, I think the website I bought it from, the, uh, the picture was like black like you know, the, this was black and then this is what came in the mail <laughs> so anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this I, whew, it's the longest video I've put out so far 
Uh, again, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, you know, please keep your eyes peeled. I got a couple more reviews coming uh, today uh, for some more vape wild juices. So anyway, I'll see you in a bit.